हे गाइस वेलकम टू द बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज पोर्टल एमसीक्यूज ऑल द एमसीक्यूज फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल आर ऑलरेडी देयर ऑन अ YouTube चैनल अरेंज इन अ प्लेलिस्ट फॉर्मेट दे हेल्प यू टू रिवाइज समराइज यू नो ऑल द कांसेप्ट्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू एसीपीएम नाउ आफ्टर दिस इट वाज अ टाइम लाइक यू नो दैट वी ट्राई टू बी डूइंग दोस क्वेश्चन दैट आईसी हैज पुट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इन देयर बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज पोर्टल This is MCQ number five that we are doing. Chapter number one, introduction to SCM. So the question is, Modern Furniture Limited is considering the need, resource outlay, and expected benefit to draw a value proposition canvas for its business. Okay, so they want to be drawing value proposition canvas. Since MFL is already using business model canvas, okay, hence a proposer is trying to convince the board by emphasizing that the value proposition canvas is dash to the business model canvas okay now we have to be answering that dash bring me the four options please four options are it is a substitute okay it is extension okay it is a plug in okay it is a new version now before i answer this there are two aspects that you all should be doing what is business model canvas apart from that what is value proposition canvas so let's do the first one this is how a business model canvas looks like it has nine parts four on left four on right and one in middle four parts on the left are insider things that is like you know your cost structure key partners key activities key resources four on the right deal with uh, basically customer in the market so therefore you have customer segments you have customer relationship you have customer channels and then you have your revenue streams that is from where the money is coming and in middle value proposition comes now out of these nine elements two of these elements were explained further through the value proposition canvas which are these two parts which are these two elements first of them was value proposition value proposition was explained further that is called as value map apart from that customer segment was also explained further or detailed further in form of customer profile and then a business will be doing good if customer profile matches with the value map and that is where the perfect fit word that now comes this below part that you all see is called as value proposition canvas so value proposition explains in depth that what is the profile of the customer what is the things that he wants to get it done what are the pains that he is experiencing currently without purchasing your product or service and what are the gains that he is looking for on the left hand side of the value proposition canvas you have what the business is about to be offering so therefore business will offer certain products and services that will relieve the pains that the consumer is currently experiencing so therefore pain relievers and then it will give the gains that the consumer wants that is gain creators so the topmost part that you all see is business model canvas and then out of those nine parts two of the parts get explained further in form of value proposition canvas so therefore it is not a substitute okay to be very honest it is not a substitute substitute means either this or this no it is not that it is not extension it is not an other thing as such okay it is not a new version but in this case it is nothing but a plugin plugin means as such it will make your uh, business model far better far better you can try to test your different products and services with the help of value proposition canvas <coughs> so therefore out of the four options that are there the third one makes a maximum amount of sense and that thing is the value proposition canvas is an extension no it is a plugin to business model canvas plugin means it will make your business model canvas far more effective it will give you more in depth kind of knowledge of the two segments that is value proposition and customer segment so out of the four options that you all see on the screen correct answer should be the third one that is nothing but plugin yeah that's the correct answer i'll see you all next time do ensure that all these videos whenever you are watching before i answer you try to comment in the description box below your answer if your answer is right you will always get a confidence that your answer is right if it is wrong once i point out the correct answer it will remain in your mind that the correct answer was what i'll see you all next time with another video take care guys bye